Hi and welcome to today's demo which is about container networking. So in this demo today we will be reviewing the networking features of Docker, so the most famous uh, container engine. And we will be reviewing how Docker networking works in standalone mode and also we will be reviewing the overlay networking in Docker when the Docker is being created inside Swarm overlay networking. Uh, in this demo today, uh, we have three hosts, and these three hosts, they are hosting uh, Docker engines, uh, three different uh, machines. Uh, the server one and server two, they are all, both of them are in the same layer two network, and the server three, which we have here, is in the different, different network. So the server three actually is exactly the same machine which we are currently running. So the machine which you are, you see the output, the screen is being recorded is the server three with this IP address. So it's sitting on a different uh, layer three network. Um, we will be uh, getting Docker running on all of this host and we will be setting up the standalone first, the standalone web server, uh, Nginx web server on the first one. And we will be reviewing that, you know, how this web server will be able to communicate to outside. We will try to access this uh, Nginx container from here. And we will be reviewing how the Docker engine creates and manages the, the Docker bridge and how the NATing works. Uh, later on, we will uh, continue by adding more, uh, more hosts uh, to this group and creating a cluster of three uh, Docker servers and we continue from there. So once we have the, the Docker on the first server, we will inspect the container. So inspection of the container uh, is commands on the Docker that can give us some information that how the container is working, what are the uh, networking details of the container and so forth. We will check also the Docker interface and the, and the bridge to understand how the, exactly this container is connected to the, to the host network. Uh, we will be testing accessing this web server over, over port 80 and also we will try to do it over port number 8080 to see how the Docker will be able to do the uh, port address translation. Uh, later on, after we finishing the testing with the single machine, we will start enabling the Docker Swarm and make three, so we will make three servers. Uh, we will make server three, you know, this machine as the Docker <coughs> Swarm manager. And then later on, we will join the server one and server two to this swarm. Uh, we will create an Nginx service with five instances where the swarm will place these five instances on different machine. We will review how these five instances are being located on different servers and kind of different uh, Docker engines. So once we launch the, the swarm and we create the overlay network, this host will create a VXLAN uh, mesh network between each other. We will be reviewing that, you know, how how each of these hosts, they will be listening on the VXLAN port. We will review that and we will test and try that accessing this Nginx at all the three IP addresses. Also, we will kill uh, the, uh, that container on the server one and we will make sure that, you know, still we can access that Nginx on the server one as server one will redirect those messages, those, those requests to a different uh, container within the swarm. So let's start by accessing the server one and we will start running the Nginx web server there and we continue from there. Okay, so let's try to access to server one uh, this IP address. I will copy paste the IP address and we open a terminal, SSH as root and sign uh, this IP address. I have the SSH key, so uh, I got into Docker 34. This is the first Docker server we have. So Docker is installed <clears throat> and if we run Docker PS, it shows any running container, which currently we don't have anything right now. And if I do a Docker network LS, this shows us the current not the Docker networks that are available. So this is the main uh, network, the Docker breach. This one is for the swarm, which uh, we will talk about it in the uh, in the second section of this demo. Uh, but this breach is the first uh, Docker network which is available. Uh, so if I do if I do an IP link here, you can see we got. Uh, we got the Docker Zero interface and also we got this Docker uh, Gateway Bridge interface as well. So this one is for the Swarm and this one is the main uh, virtual switch 
virtual bridge within the host which the Docker containers will get attached to this particular virtual switch. If we do a bridge CTL show, also we will be able to see the same. So we have these two virtual bridge or virtual switches uh, in the in the system. So this one actually will be created by Docker when you do the installation of the Docker. And this one, whenever you do a swarm uh, setup, it will be created. So right now we don't have the swarms uh, set up, but uh, this is still there from the from the previous uh, installation from the previous one. So now let's start by running uh, nginx uh, basic web server on this machine also let me show you if we have uh, what what are the ports the machine is listening so in this machine the, we have a port uh, 22 which is for ssh we got the port 25 for uh, smtp and uh, the same thing is happening on the on the ip version 6 so we have only uh, ssh and uh, actually only ssh enabled on this machine right now so let's run the nginx uh, now okay so we will say docker docker run say dash rm so whenever we finish the work with this uh, particular container uh, it can get deleted whenever we stop it dash d means it should be detached otherwise it will hijack the console which we have and we give it a name uh, let's call it uh, nginx underscore one and we are going to run nginx sorry i put uh, should be dash dash okay so this is the uh, id of that container if i do a docker ps now it shows me that we got the container with this ID, it's so Nginx, and it is running for the last seven seconds, and it is listening on port number 80 TCP. Uh, one thing we didn't do that was uh, to, to publish this port. So right now, this container is listening on port number 80, but we don't have any mapping between the between the host and this virtual machine, this, this container. Uh, what does it mean? It means that, you know, if I do a Docker inspect, inspect for this one, engine, engine X underscore one. So these are all the details of this particular container. And it, the network section, it says that the IP address of this machine is 172.17.0.2. So this is a Docker network, and this is the IP address of the gateway. So in this machine, in the host, if I do an IP address, uh, you can see that the Docker zero interface, it has this IP address, the 172.17.0.1. So the Docker zero, that virtual switch, it has this IP address, and the container has got the IP address 172.17.0.2. So the, 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 the Docker, uh, system is running an IPAM, it's running something like a DHCP, uh, allocates the IP addresses and assigns the IP address to the container. So this container with this IP address, actually, it is not published in my network here. So in this host, which is 192.168.211.34, with physical interface, this host is connected to a network. And there is no way that, you know, my network here knows about the 172.16.0 IP subnet here that you know I should be able to route here. So for fixing that, you know, either you can do a routing or we can use the NATing feature. So we will try to access to the port, the port number 80, for example, here, and we'll map that port to the Docker container. So if I go back here and let's say if I do a net stat on the host, and let's see. So here is still the host is only listening on port number 22 and 25, right? But the Docker container, the Nginx container, which we created, that container is listening on port number 80, right? So this port number 80, actually it is on the container, which there is no mapping between this port and the host. So the host doesn't know that whenever a port packet is coming on the port number 80 of the host, it has to get delivered to this particular uh, container. So to fix that, uh, we will kill this uh, container and we will recreate the container with specific uh, flags and arguments to create and map the port numbers. 
So we will do uh, Docker Q nginx underscore one. So that container is deleted now. And I will create the, the same container. And I will add one more option here to let's say dash p 80 to 80. So port number 80 of the host map it to the port number 80 of the container. Sorry, I put it in the wrong place. Uh, so here is dash dash name and delete this. And this. Okay. Now, if I do a Docker PS, we see that we got something new here in the port. That 0000, 0, 0, 0 port number 80 is mapped to port number 80 TCP on the on the container. And if we do, uh, if you check what are the ports that this host is right now is listening to, uh, we will see that now it is listening on the port number 80. And Docker proxy process is has created the uh, socket for listening on port number 80. Now, if I go to my browser here, and if I do 192.168.211.34, a which is the IP address of the host, of this, this host machine here. See, the IP address is 192.168.211.34. a And here, we get the nginx so this is the nginx container inside the docker which is generating this output right now now and we can also map a different port numbers so let me stop this now uh, we say docker kill nginx underscore one and if i run the docker container with the uh, different port numbers so let's say I want to do port number 8080 on the host to go to port number 80 on this container so here if I do again in its stat we will see that the host now is listening on port number 8080 so docker proxy is listening on the port number 8080 and if I go to my browser if I refresh this that doesn't work because the server is not listening on port number 8080 80 anymore instead it is working on port number 80 yeah actually reverse okay now if you go back to the host and if I do an IP table s now here you can see the docker has done few configuration with uh, with IP tables so these are the isolation sections that doesn't allow the uh, the docker containers to be able to communicate with with other uh, bridges here and this one allows the the port number 80 for example to be able to access to this particular container so only port number 80 is allowed and the rest are all unallowed okay so let's go back to our uh, to the drawing so this is what we have done till now on the server one we have created this uh, container the nginx and the docker zero bridge has been created this interface is connected to our docker zero uh, we didn't check actually the bridge after creating the the container right so if i do a docker ps sorry um we have one instance running right uh, if i do a bridge ctl show you see that now docker zero has got the interface connected to it virtual etn as oe 9 e971 so this is the interface of the container which is now connected to the docker zero if i launch another one another uh, uh another instance so let's say i'm going to launch uh, nginx2 and i will do it on port number 8081 on the port 80. so this creates another one so now we got two containers, both of them are running Nginx web server. And one is on port number 8081, another one is port number 80. And if I do a bridge CTL show, now the Docker Zero bridge has got two interfaces. So this is the interface for this new container which we launched. And if I go here and I change that to 8081, again we get the Nginx. So that's how uh, quickly you can launch the uh, 
uh, containers. I will kill the other one. So nginx underscore two, we kill that. Now it's dead. And we have only the single one. Uh, let me kill this first one also because we don't need it anymore. So now we don't have any container running. Okay. So <clears throat> we tested accessing the web server port, port number 80. We changed that to port number 8080. We saw that the Docker has a proxy which listens on the specific ports and it delivers maps that particular port on the host to the particular port on the, on the container. Now we will start uh, working with uh, uh, Docker Swarm. So Docker Swarm is a, is a solution for creating a cluster of Docker servers, multiple Docker servers. And the Docker server, one of them become the Swarm master and the, the master manager. And the manager will be able to place the, the containers in different hosts. So we will create these three node uh, Swarm here and we will make the, this one as a manager and after that we will start working on creating a service launching a nginx as a service with five instances and we will see how the swarm manager will be placing these five instances inside different uh, hosts here so let's ssh to all the three servers the three machines which you have here so this one is our server one the docker 34 let me open another tab and I SSH to, to the second one, which is 192.168.211.35. It's on the same layer to network. So this is the server two. And I will open another one, which is the same machine. Let me do a sudo dash s here just to make it easier. So this is server three, server two, and server one. So we got all the three ready. Now we will do uh, we we'll, first we will create uh, we will make the server tree as well manager. So let's start doing that. So here is the server tree. Let me do a Docker ps so we don't have any container running, nothing at all. Now to make that as a swarm uh, manager, we need to say Docker swarm init dash dash advertise address so this is the IP address of this this host which is 172.617.172.180 okay so it says swarm is initialized the current mode this node is the manager so we created we made this host as a manager host and to add the workers to this swarm, we need to run the following command. So it generates a token, and this token has to be uh, added to all the other, the two other servers which we have. So it says uh, on the other machines, we have to uh, run this command, docker swarm join dash token, and this is the IP address of the manager, the 172.17.172.180, on the port number, number 2377. So to port number 2377, is a Docker Swarm uh, server where it managed the other uh, machines. So I will copy this command. Let's start with server one, server one. Okay, so this one says this node is joined to the Swarm as, as a Swarm worker. And on the server 35 also we paste the same command to, to join. And this also says it's already joined. Now on the Docker Swarm manager, if I say Docker node ls, the list of nodes. So this tells me that uh, we got this one, which is uh, this machine, the Arpove con, the console. Uh, it's the leader or the manager, and it is running 18.06 uh, version of the Docker. So actually, this one is running, this is a Ubuntu machine, and these two are the CentOS machines. So that's why the, the default version of the Docker is different. Uh, so Docker 34 and Docker 35, both of them are joined, and they are all part of one uh, single swarm. Uh, group. Now let's start running. Um, let's have a look. Actually, um, the, we got the bridge CTL show. Uh, here now we got uh, Docker Zero, and also we got this Docker Gatew bridge. So uh, the two separate uh, uh, virtual bridges has been enabled here. 
No, so we can say a Docker network ls. So the not network uh, network ls. Now we got a new network also called Ingress, which is the overlay network. So this is the new network which is created by Swarm, and this network, this overlay network, will run uh, VXLAN between the Docker host and this Docker gate w, uh, gateway bridge will act will bridge between the containers and the overlay networks is the connector between the overlay network and the containers that we have. Now we need to create an overlay network uh, before we continue, before we create the service. Now we will say docker network create dash d, the device type is an overlay, so I'm creating overlay network and the name, so we call it uh, test overlay so we have now a new uh, overlay network so now we can see that the test overlay network has been created here okay now i will create a service consists of five instances of nginx servers using the docker service in this uh, docker swarm manager docker swarm manager will place these containers in different hosts and it will make sure they are all able to communicate with each other using the the new test overlay network which we have created here so we will say docker service create given name uh, service nginx okay now we need to assign the uh, uh, network the publish Target is, let's say, port number 80. And published is also 80. So port number 80 to port number 80, making it easier. And replicas to five. So five instances we are creating here. And dash dash network. So I want to assign them to the new network which we created here, the test overlay. And the last parameter is what we want to run. We want to run Nginx. Okay. So five containers are being started here. Now first one is done. All of them are done. And service is showing that it's converged. Now on the, so this is the server tree. Let me do a Docker PS. Now here we see that we have one instance running here. So one of them is here, it's sitting here on this server. On server two, if I do a Docker PS here, here we got one and two, so two of them. Now we forgot to kill this one. We can kill that to make it uh, clean kill my underscore nginx okay so now it's clear let me clear that also so we got two of them here so one instance is sitting here two instances is sitting here and it should be two of them also sitting here so docker ps yeah so two of them are also sitting here now so we have this and we have instead of so we have actually two containers here let me make this also exactly reflecting because these are dynamic sometimes it doesn't put the, the correct number of uh, containers at the at these servers so we have two servers two containers here two containers here and one container here and now we can check also that how these machines are communicating with each other. So if I in the server, let's say server one, if I do uh, a net stat dash tpnl, now here we see that we got two new ports here, and we got a TCP seventy nine forty six and also UDP seventy nine forty six. So port number 7946 we have, and also we have the UDP 4789. Where we already know that the UDP port number 4789, this is the VXLAN port. So we got the VXLAN 
uh, port VXLAN process running and listening at port number 4789, which is running VXLAN between this host and uh, two others for creating these virtual tunnels, virtual overlay tunnels for sending traffic between these servers. And also we got uh, port number 80 listening. So Docker, Docker is also here. And here also, uh, here also we got uh, port number 80 and port number 7946, which is for Docker Swarm, and 4789, which is our overlay networking, the VX lab port. Okay, so let's do a test of connectivity. So if I go to uh, server one, server one Nginx is running. That, you know, we can access that from here. Server two, again, and and for the server three, let me open a new tab. You can do the local host. Yep, and we got the Nginx also running here. So uh, we have the containers running everywhere. And let's start by killing the Nginx on the server one. And we will be accessing again server one through the browser, but there will be no containers running there. And we will see how the server one, the Docker in server one, we redirect those requests to the other servers and we receive the uh, the nginx output from there so let's go to server one here and so to do docker ps we got these two running here as you can see and if i kill docker kill copy and paste this one and say docker kill the other one now we don't have any docker container here running because i do a net stat you can see still the machine is listening on port number 80 but the requests, when they are coming, they all go over the VXLAN to the other host, and another host is serving those those requests. And as you can see, now the 34 is replying, is delivering the, the same, the Nginx, while, so we don't have anything running here, but still we are listening on port number 80, and here if I refresh this page, you see, is still working so the output is coming from another one now on the docker manager let me do also let me check docker service ls so we have the service we can have a, a list of services and we can also do docker service inspect inspect of service engine x it also provides some good information so these are all the data, the configuration data related to this service, the service with five uh, Nginx. So it says the name of this is uh, Nginx, the image location, the image name, and let's see, the placements, you know, it is architecture, OS Linux, okay. Networks, the target is, this is the network ID of the network, uh, update config, and uh, the virtual IP, the virtual IP of this service is TCP on port number 80 and published as port number 80 as well. So all the machines, they publish port number 80 and they map it to port number 80 on their uh, ingress, uh, that overlay network. And we got the ports, TCP port number 80 published as port number 80 on the, on the ingress uh, uh, interface. And these are the virtual IPs. So these are the internal uh, virtual IPs, probably, um, which the containers are using the two uh, virtual IP address ranges, which are located here. So other than overlay or the standard uh, container standalone networking, Docker also supports other modes of networking, like you know the the Mac VLANs or uh, or host-based networking. There are different network type also supported uh, in addition. Also, you can 
uh, change this by default bridge, uh, the, the standard Linux bridge to something else, uh, probably, you know, you can, you can also uh, use DPDK uh, to present some uh, physical interfaces to the container. So these are all uh, flexibilities that you can, you can find out between Docker and the, and the other systems. Uh, but in general, you know, all the containers similar to virtual machine, they require a virtual switch or virtual bridge on the host to be able to connect to. And so Docker, in addition to that, it creates, it has this ability to create these uh, overlay networks between the between the hosts that are, you know, all forming a service uh, for, for saving one particular application. Um, so this was our uh, demo about container networking. If you have any question, please feel free to write it in the forum or you can contact me directly. Thank you very much.